Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, I said. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Yay, what does that mean? That means it's Friday day. Today we're going to make the lovely wife part of vlog number 11. <laughs> She's always ducking the vlogs. I don't know why she ducked the vlogs. Yeah, hear this? She's not ducking I'm the not vlogs. Ducking the vlogs. I'm just you want to go in through the beach side or you want to go into the street? Uh, I want to investigate. Let's go into the street. All right. We know we're nosy. Right, I see? So we found the action. The music is pretty low, but we're going to see what's going on. That's where the action is. Yeah. Right down there. Oh, this is the um the animal thing. Not animal thing, baby. What's it? The, 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 the animal sponsorship event. Say it again. The animal sponsorship event. One more time. Against cruelty for animals. The SPCA. Or TCSPA. We got to run to get there. You're going to run to get there? So this is where the party is. This is where the party is. is. Right. Look, that's I know. You got it? Yeah, that's what I was filming. Okay, this is Tony and Darrell, owners of Skipper Horseback Riding and Tours in Grand Turk. Work at the cruise center, the pre-book ahead of time, if you want to. Just go on the website, you see Skippers, okay. Horseback Riding and Tours nice. in Grand Turk. Um, who this are you, young man? <laughs> I'm Darrell. Darrell? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. <laughs> just, just breeze. <laughs> All right. Okay. You come on the beach, ask for Breeze or Bruno or Darrell, you'll get hooked up with Skipper's Horseback Riding. And you have a nice, enjoyable ride. And make sure you mention this video and we'll give you a discount on your ride. Awesome. Thank you. This is Breeze, my six-year-old stallion. And over there, we have Bruno, my nine-year-old stallion. So how long how long have you been um, raising horses and uh, riding? Basically? Well, we've been raising horses from a kid. Okay. We just get beaten <laughs> to take care of them. You go to sleep at night and you don't feed the horse, they wake you up and send you aside to feed them. So how many horses do you have now? We have eight all together. Wow. But that's for myself and. With my partner John, we have about 15. Oh wow. So you guys just kind of own the island right now with the horses, huh? Well, we got the biggest right, and the best. I hear you. Alright, thanks a lot. Okay. My name is Pam, just moved here to Grand Turk and we are here donating our time to sell drinks and dog leashes and toys. All the proceeds go to the SPCA. We're trying to get equipment so that we have our own chapter here on Grand Turk. Thank you. You're welcome. This took a lot of weeks of planning and just like we do on Provo, you cannot do this without your wonderful volunteers. And there she is. <laughs> There's the and also we want to thank Dr. Megan and the wonderful people from Bark and Bliss who have now been coming over regularly since Dan January and it's wonderful to know we now have regular veterinary service on this island and together with IPOR, all the other lovely ladies from Minnesota who recently did a clinic here, I think things are looking a little better on this island. But I just want to thank 
all the people from the island as well who have to come out to support this because without your support this wouldn't be the big event of the year and the money today that is raised is going to help with the spay neuter there are lots of plans going on on this island but hopefully by the end of this year things will be looking a little better not just for the dogs and cats but for the large animals as well so chris i'd like to hand it over to you because Oh, oh, Lisa, one of them, somebody's got to do this. But... She said she is the executive director for the TCSPCA, and although she's based in Provo, she's come over today to help support us. And the things that she does behind the scenes, you would be pretty amazed at. I've never known how to order doxycycline in my life till I met this lady. <laughs> and again, we can't thank the volunteers enough. It really is everybody that makes this sort of thing come together. And... I guess in some ways it can be called selfish. Those of us that love animals and want to give back to it, they give to us every single day. Most of you know where I am. If ever you need any help or have any questions on the island, don't hesitate to walk in the dive shop and just come and ask. If you don't see me, you'll see Lisa around the island. We have Phyllis, we have Linda. One of our team members is missing today. I think she's a little unwell, so she's at home, Nikki. But anybody is always willing to help you when it comes to your animal. And um, that's about pretty much all I can say. If anybody else would like to say anything, Megan, would you like to say something? <laughs> You're sassy. <laughs> anyway, um, I just want to say a huge thank you for the GTSPCA. Um, they have done, with the help of the TCSPCA, an amazing job of education, helping animals on this island, and being incredibly dedicated to always being there for you guys and as well as supporting us being here to help every week. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it without the support of all the Grand Turk residents, the Grand Turk SPCA. And I know they don't want me to say it, but Linda and Hartley, you guys have done a great deal of work and have kicked butt to get this together. And the whole GT SPCA have done a fantastic job. This has been a really successful event and I'm just, we're so proud to be here to help. Thank you, everyone, for coming. St. Thomas Grand Turk. Nice to be here. I want to go back to Provo. Staying here. One-way ticket. <laughs>